Hey guys, welcome to another episode of AppQuest. I'm your host, Daniel. Today we're checking out the Apple Watch user interface on the iPhone 6. Now, uh, this was posted by Lucas Menj on GitHub, and he also posted a video about this on YouTube, but I really wanted to share this with you guys since he actually made this available. And if you have a developer account with Apple, you can load this right into Xcode and then uh, just load it right onto your phone. And it works as an app, but they kind of give you an idea of how this would actually run on a phone. It's actually pretty cool. I think this is one of those things that people will either kind of really like or really hate and think it's very dumb. But uh, yeah, basically the UI works just like you saw on the watch that Apple announced a, like a month ago or so. But uh, yeah, you just drag and uh, you know you see all the apps. You can zoom out and see every app that you have and then you click on a section of all the apps and it'll zoom you right into that and uh, as Lucas mentioned everywhere you go there's always an app that's centered so everything's kind of organized it's this kind of organized chaos and it's really cool it just just looks sweet you can zoom out again zoom in you can also tap on the empty space to zoom back out and then you can go to another section zoom back out then go into an app go back app and you can see the really cool animations when you go into an app it kind of opens up from the app and it loads it so there's definitely a lot of thought put into this and I think it just looks pretty cool it's definitely a function that could be embedded into uh, you know an option that you could turn on and off or even just a jailbreak tweet so that people that want to use it can use it and have this cool different UI that's gonna make your phone look a lot different than everyone else out there all right, so now I wanted to show you real quick how to actually get this on your phone. So the first thing that you need is actually Xcode. The second thing that you want to do is go to his GitHub page, which I'll have down below in the description, and uh, you'll basically just download here, download the zip. You're gonna get this folder, which you open right up, and then you open the Xcode project. That should take some time to open, but uh, there we go. and you want to have your provisioning profile and you also want to have the iOS device UDID registered as a developer account you know as a developer so that you can actually load unauthorized apps on it so if you're not a developer or anything like that which costs a hundred dollars a year then uh, you're gonna have a slightly harder time getting this on there and uh, but yeah this is for those that do have a developer account and uh, weren't sure how to get it but yeah this is all you do then you hit play and it's going to send this over to your iPhone while it's connected you hit play and then there you go the app loads right up on your device and you can use it however you want so if you have any questions feel free to ask away uh, hopefully there's a way for those that don't have an account to get it on there but uh, I'm not sure about that you might be able to register your UDID by itself and then uh, load the app the same way without having a developer account but I'm not a hundred percent sure if that will work and uh, yeah that's it for this video guys make sure to check out all the other videos more videos coming soon and I'll catch you guys in the next one goodbye